Welcome to the Heritage Football Show with Coach Chad Frazier. Coach, last Friday night, a very hungry Clark Central team came into town and uh, they put up a heck of a fight. Does a game like that uh, to help build confidence in your players as you move through the region? Uh, certainly. Uh, to be in the position that we were in by halftime and uh, not really certain you know, what kind of team we would have coming out of the locker room uh, and what kind of fight they would put up, uh, it's sure, certainly it's great momentum going into this week at Flower Branch. Excellent. We're going to talk about uh, that game and, and, and a whole lot more as we go through the show tonight. And we're going to pay some bills first. So we'll be back here on the GHSA.TV network. For nearly 30 years, Atlanta Pizza and Euro has been serving Conyers and Rockdale County the best pizza, gyros, Greek salads, and more. Using only the freshest ingredients, Atlanta Pizza and Euro has created a list of loyal customers a mile long. Located on Highway 138 in Conyers next to Radio Shack, Atlanta Pizza and Euro invites you to come in and try them just once, and they promise that you'll be back. Stop in today for a fresh pizza piled high with toppings or a gyro that you will never forget. Monday night is trivia night for prizes. In a hurry? Call in and order at 770-483-6228. Again, that's 770-483-6228 for Atlanta Pizza and Euro. Stone Mountain Harley-Davidson is the one stop for your motorcycle needs. Stop in to browse our selection of newer pre-owned bikes or bring in your bike for service and repairs. We also sell a complete line of genuine Harley-Davidson merchandise, including parts, leather goods, collectibles, apparel and gear, and gifts for any motorcycle enthusiast. Come on down to 900 Dogwood Drive in Conyers. For more information, call 770-979-7999. For all things motorcycle, come down to Stone Mountain Harley-Davidson. Welcome back to the Heritage Football Show. Alongside Coach Chad Frazier, I'm Tom White. And Coach, uh, last week's game had enough storylines to write a TV series around. Uh, <laughs> what would be a word that you would use to describe the game last week? Uh, probably perseverance. Perseverance to come from behind like that, uh, down 17-0 at half, and and uh, or, or 10 nothing at half. Uh, you know, I was just really proud of our guys that persevered. Uh, we preach it all the time that, you know, sometimes things you're going to face adversity, and uh, you know, it, the to define the, the character of our team and the character of our individuals. Uh, you know, it showed on the field Friday night in the second half. And you mentioned that uh, it was 10 to nothing at halftime. Nothing really for us to talk about there in terms of, of highlights for the Patriots. Um, so let's go straight to the locker room. What was the tone at halftime? Well, as usual, it's, uh, you know, we never go into panic mode at, at halftime, no matter if we're up big or, or if it's close or if we're down big. Uh, halftime is all about making adjustments. Uh, what can we do to improve things offensively? Uh, if we're having trouble stopping them, what other things, adjustments we need to make defensively? Um, what sort of the plan as far as tempo, as far as personnel, that kind of thing, uh, going into the second half? And so it was the same Friday night. It was, you know, with us, okay, the, the, the formations and the run game that we thought we'd be able to use were just not clicking. And so, you know, let's go out in the second half and spread it out a little bit and see what that, that part of our package does for us. Excellent. And with 30 seconds left in the third quarter, uh, it's 17 to nothing at that point. And Isaiah hooks up with uh, Isaiah Spencer hooks up with with Stephen Everson for the first points of the night for the Patriots. Right. Uh, Isaiah came in and, and gave the offense a great spark. Uh, we went to our spread package of our offense and uh, put Isaiah in the shotgun. And, and Isaiah does a great job of throwing the deep ball. He throws it really well. Um, and so we were able to do some of the things that Isaiah does well and utilize that. And uh, he connected with Stephen Everson on a nice fade in the end zone. And a, a, a long field goal with 7.07 left in the game starts to kind of push the momentum towards the Patriots. Uh, did the players have that mo have the, uh, the sense of that momentum shift? Well, I'll tell you, Tom, at that point in the game, uh, some of the coaches were, were wanting to go for it at that point because it was we were down two scores. And, uh, you know, the ball was on the 26. It was a 43-yard field goal. And I just kind of figured, well, if we can get this field goal right here, it's one possession game. And, and, and it'll change the way they do things. They'll, they'll go very conservative, uh, which really plays into our hands as a defense. So I just turned to Harrison Culp and asked him what he thought. And he said, Coach, I, I can nail this one. So we ran the field goal team out there. He nailed it with, with plenty of yards to spare. Uh, it's 17-10. Um, then we put it in the end zone for a touchback and uh, got them on the 20 and, and really got them on their heels at that point. 
the momentum was definitely in the favor of the Patriots. And then finally, with under three minutes uh, left to go, an another uh, Spencer Everson combina combination for another tw 29 yard touchdown. Right. That was the one that we weren't sure. You know, it, I think it was third and 10, and, and we didn't, you know, we weren't in panic mode. We don't have to, we don't need a touchdown, you know, necessarily. It's four down territory. Uh, but uh, we had a little three by one combination on the left side, and he saw Everson deep. and. Uh, you know, again, threw a nice ball, and Everson does a great job of going up and getting that ball. And uh, we tie it up with the extra point, and, uh, you know, and then we hold them on defense and, and get ready for overtime. And in overtime, uh, Clark Central uh, moves it close enough to go ahead and put three points on the board, and they do that to, to, to end their possession. And then um, that wasn't enough. No, it wasn't. I tell you, uh, Clark Central's possession, uh, there were a couple of key plays there. Uh, Dusty Moore had a, had a very nice sack. Uh, on the quarterback, a very athletic quarterback. And, uh, you know, it, it put them out of, you know, uh, going for it range. And, and so they had, you know, they had to uh, contend with just taking a field goal and taking the three points. And then, um, you know, and, and we had already had the, the, neck, the, the first play we ran in overtime, we had already called with them 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. We knew we are going overtime. We knew what the play was going to be, and we felt like we had a shot. We thought we had a shot of scoring. But we got it down to the four, so that was nice. And from the four, Myron Fears punches it in to make the final score 23-20. to 20. Um, Big big overtime win for the Patriots and, and, and just a, a momentum momentum kick and, and just an overall boost for the team. Right, and, and I'll tell you, Tom, and this is one of the great things about coaching high school football and working with the, the kids that we, we get to work with every day. Uh, we got in an unbalanced set, or we were supposed to. We ended up, we didn't line up right, <laughs> but, it, but it worked out. And uh, in that unbalanced set, uh, uh, Collis Johnson and Michael Rayford, we had, were putting on the weak side all night because we were going to do a lot of things to the weak side of that set. And uh, Collis looked me in the eye in the huddle during that timeout, and he said, Coach, you run behind me and Rayford, and we'll get this touchdown. And uh, so we did. We put those guys on that side, and old Myron Fears just stuck it in from four yards out. That's a that's a that's a lot of blocking. To that's run right. Behind. So uh, the final score again, 23 to 20. The Patriots winning. Um, and and tomorrow night we head to Flowery Branch. We're going to talk about that game in a minute. But uh, we're going to come back from a break and talk about the news from around the region. So we'll be back in just a moment here on the GHSA.TV network. Jim and Nick's brings you a unique style of barbecue, considered by many to be the best barbecue in the South, going on now 27 years strong. Low and slow, our meats are steeped in hickory smoke for more than 14 hours. Our long-standing tradition of making everything fresh from scratch daily, absolutely no freezers. This is Southern cooking at its finest. Come enjoy what the readers of Southern Living Magazine voted as the best pork butt sandwich. We have five locations around Atlanta serving up some genuine comfort food. Visit the Conyers location at 2275 Highway 20 in the Target Shopping Center. Jim and Nick's, made with passion and served with pride. The third annual Cruising for Careers Car Show and Fall Festival is just around the corner. October 27th at Rocky Career Academy on Parker Road in Conyers. This year's show features classic cars, trucks, and motorcycles competing in every class for best in show as well as people's choice. There's something for the whole family, including face painting, trunk or treat, and more. The event is free to the public and only $20 to enter your car, truck, or motorcycle in the show. All proceeds benefit the programs at Rockdale Career Academy. We'll see you on Saturday, October 27th for the third annual Cruising for Careers Car Show and Fall Festival. Welcome back to the Heritage Football Show with Coach Chad Frazier. And Coach, we're going to talk about uh, scores from around the region from last week. Uh, Gainesville beat up on Salem 49-6. to Yes, uh, Gainesville is, is, is uh, just continuing to roll and uh, putting up a lot of points. And their defense is very solid. Uh, you know, not, not really surprised um, in, the, in the victory for Gainesville. But uh, the, the margin of victory is a little surprising. And uh, Flowery Branch on Winder Barrel 54-14. Right, Flowery Branch is starting to uh, click uh, on both sides of the ball. Um, you know they're getting into the you know, tough stretch of their schedule, and uh, you know of course you know we go there Friday night, so uh, looking forward to that matchup. And uh, Appalachia seven points up over uh, 
Loganville 35-28. Right, Appalachia Loganville. Uh, I was interested to see how that game was going to turn out. Um, surprised at the number of points that both teams put up. Uh, can't wait to uh, you know watch the film as we get ready for Loganville next week. And tomorrow night, uh, or actually Cedar Shoals was off last week. They have uh, Appalachia tomorrow night, and and we're going to uh, go up to Flower Branch tomorrow night. We're going to talk about that when we come back here on the GHSA.TV network. Small Town Feel with Big Time Flavor. The Oaks Family Diner on Flat Shoals Road has the home-cooked meals that you're looking for. Breakfast served all day, including homemade biscuits and an unmatched selection of omelets. Open from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., the Oaks Family Diner is a crowd pleaser with their daily lunch specials and cakes by Mary. There's something for everyone. So stop by tomorrow at 1040 Flat Shoals Road in Conyers and see what the buzz is all about at the Oaks Family Diner. Randy's Carpet Plus, Rockdale's oldest floor covering store, offers a 10,000 square foot showroom warehouse with quality name brand hardwood floors, laminate, carpet, ceramic tile, and more. And unlike the big box chain stores, our quality control standards are high and we have perhaps the best staff in the flooring business. Rest assured, we take care of all of your needs from start to finish. For a limited time, take advantage of 12 month no payment financing. For the best selection, value, and service for all your flooring needs, make it Randy's Carpet Plus on Dogwood Drive in Conyers. Welcome back to the Heritage Football Show with Coach Chad Frazier. I am Tom White and Coach, tomorrow night we head up back to Hall County. We're going to see the Falcons of Flowery Branch uh, in a huge region showdown. This is one that's going to help separate uh, uh, the teams either direction. Um, what can we expect to see tomorrow night? Well, at Flowery Branch, uh, traditionally as an offense, they're very uh, spread, wide open, uh, explosive style of offense and nothing's changed there. Uh, they uh, employ four wide receivers in, in almost 100% of their sets. Uh, they have a, a shifty little athletic quarterback uh, that throws the ball well, runs the ball uh, even better, runs the option out of the spread. Uh, they've got a good young uh, sophomore running back uh, that can really move and, and make people miss in space. Um, got a big offensive line. Uh, defensively, they're very sound. Uh, they play a 3-4 defense similar to ours. Um, got a big Mike linebacker, a kid named Jacob Allen that's very good. and then. Those four guys in the secondary are probably going to be as, as good as any four we've seen, um, you know, and in, in in, as far as defensive backs go. Kicking game is, is average to a little above average. Uh, they don't do anything to get themselves beat um, there. Um, so it should be a very competitive game. We're looking forward to going over there. It's a great atmosphere. When you go to Flowery Branch on a Friday night, it's a great atmosphere. It's going to be a playoff type atmosphere. And, uh, you know, it's going to decide uh, more than likely home field uh, in the first round. Excellent. We look forward to, to the game tomorrow night. And if you can if you can make it to Flowery Branch, please do. The, vo the boys uh, would, would love to hear some, some right. friendly voices up in the crowd. But if you can't, we'll have the game here at 7.30 on GHSA.TV. And we'll be back in just a moment with uh, Players of the Week here on the Heritage Patriot Football Show on GHSA.TV. The third annual Cruising for Careers Car Show and Fall Festival is just around the corner. October 27th at Rockdale Career Academy on Parker Road in Conyers. This year's show features classic cars, trucks, and motorcycles competing in every class for best in show as well as people's choice. There's something for the whole family, including face painting, trunk or treat, and more. The event is free to the public and only $20 to enter your car, truck, or motorcycle in the show. All proceeds benefit the programs at Rockdale Career Academy. We'll see you on Saturday, October 27th for the third annual Cruising for Careers Car Show and Fall Festival. For nearly 30 years, Atlanta Pizza and Euro has been serving Conyers and Rockdale County the best pizza, gyros, Greek salads, and more. Using only the freshest ingredients, Atlanta Pizza and Euro has created a list of loyal customers a mile long. Located on Highway 138 in Conyers next to Radio Shack, Atlanta Pizza and Euro invites you to come in and try them just once, and they promise that you'll be back. Stop in today for a fresh pizza piled high with toppings or a gyro that you will never forget. Monday night is trivia night for prizes. In a hurry? Call in and order at 770-483-6228. Again, that's 770-483-6228 for Atlanta Pizza and Euro. 
This is the Heritage Football Show with Coach Chad Frazier. I'm Tom White and Coach. We save the last segment every week for uh, the players who, who were outstanding uh, in the previous week's game. And, and who do we have this week? Well, Tom, this week, our Offensive Player of the Week uh, is uh, none other than Isaiah Spencer. Isaiah came in the second half at quarterback. Uh, he was 7 for 11 passing uh, for 130 yards and two touchdowns. Um, our Defensive Player of the Week, Dustin Moore. Dustin had 12 total tackles, a tackle for loss, and a, and a big sack in overtime. Uh, our Special Teams Player of the Week, Harrison Culp. He's our kicker. Harrison had, uh, he was two for four on kickoffs for touchbacks, which is very big. Uh, and then he was also uh, one for one on uh, field goal attempts for the 43-yarder. Uh, carrying our flags this week, our USA flag is Michael Rayford, a uh, big offensive tackle. Uh, our Black Death flag, our defensive flag, is Miles Hunter. And our Hammer Awards this week is Dominique Packer, Myron Fears, Cedric Davenport, Seth Fallen, uh, Collis Johnson, Reggie Thomas, and Michael Rayford. Excellent. We look forward to, uh, to seeing those guys perform tomorrow night as, they, as you head up to Flower Branch. And again, if you can make it to the game, please, please do so just to support, support our boys who work hard every day to, to, to put on the best football game possible. If you can't, We'll have it right here on the GHSA.TV network. For James Dinsmore and Coach Chad Frazier, I'm Tom White. Have a great night. We'll see you next week.